day, tennis fans, and welcome to Tennis Now's News Update show. After both top seeds Victoria Azarenka and Serena Williams withdrew from Dubai with injuries, the draw has opened up for several other top players to shine. Petra Kvitova has capitalized on the opportunity, and after defeating uh, Caroline Wozniacki, she advanced to the finals where she will face Sarah Irani, who knocked out her fellow Italian, Roberta Vinci. In Memphis, Sabine Lezicki will face Marina Erakovic in the finals. While on the men's side, Mike Russell and Jack Sock try to keep the hopes alive for the Americans to win the event. Tennis Now's Blair Henley has been on site this week interviewing the players. You can see her interviews here or in the links below. In Marseille, Jo Wilfried Sanga had a three-set thrilling win over Bernard Tomic to advance to the semis where he will face Juan Martin Del Potro or his fellow Frenchman Gilles Simon. And in Buenos Aires, David Ferrer looks to defend his title as the draw narrows in the semifinals. A 4,000-person security force, three times the size of the local police force, will be keeping an eye on things when festivities begin in Acapulco next week. That may seem like an excessive number, but the tournament doesn't want to take any chances with the players and fans' safety after the recent gruesome slayings in the region. Especially since the draw will feature the return of Rafa Nadal, who hasn't played the events since 2005. Speaking of Rafa, the superstar made comments on Lance Armstrong's doping scandal, saying it's a real problem that strongly damages the image of sports. But pay attention not to put everyone in the same bracket. Cases like the one of Armstrong or of the one of Operation Puerto are a cancer to the sport, but you have to fight with all the strength you have to, make, to grant transparency, make the test public, and collaborate. The ranking system is under some scrutiny after Serena's ascent to the world number one ranking. Several comments have been made about how strange it is that someone who loses to the current world number one can replace her in the rankings the next week. What's even more surprising is that Andy Roddick, who hasn't played for five months, jumped up two spots in the rankings this week. This is due to the fact that two players in front of him lost points from last year, and Roddick lost none. Roddick will be filing his official retirement papers, so he will be removed from the rankings completely in the near future. But there is still a call for a bonus point system to be implemented. This, that's it for this new segment. Do you think there should be a bonus point system in the rankings? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section or on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.